Today, I'm gonna to show you how to screen a stock with almost any parameter that you can think of within the Moomoo app. Sometimes you have a stock and it has a really high PE like Tesla, which hovers around 100. You start to wonder how come it has such a high PE? I wonder which other stocks has such a high PE as well. Or maybe you're wondering about Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway portfolio and what it's currently holding, what it's buying at the time. This video is brought to you by the Moomoo app. I know you guys might have too many stock trading apps already. Maybe you have Robinhood, Webull, E-Trade, Ameritrade, Bank of America, Merrill. I actually have all of these. If they give me some free stock, I'm willing to sign up for it. There's no annual fee. You sign up, you get a free stock. You open up this Moomoo account, you get one free stock. You deposit $1 or more more, you get five free stocks. At the highest tier, if you deposit $2,000, you can get up to 10 free stocks worth up to $25,000. Referral link down below. Keep in mind that this video and the Moomoo stock screener is not a recommendation to buy a stock or a security. A stock that I cover in this video may go up in value or down in value. With that said, let's cover the stock screener. This is my Moomoo account. I currently have about $5,177. I got one share of Apple, one share of General Motor, and one share of VOO. So I have $5,000 waiting to pounce on the market if the market dips even lower. The S&P 500 has already dropped about 20% from its peak. I'm thinking if it drops another 10%, I'm going to dollar cost average the rest of this money in my Moomoo account into VOO. Go to quotes and on the top, click markets. And towards the top, you have things called paper, folio, heat map, shareholding, stock screener, earning season. Before looking at the stock screener, let's look at the heat map. Oh! Red is like, oh hurt. So you got this heat map of all this red, minus 1.13%, software infrastructure minus 3.51%. You just know it's doing really bad just by one quick glance at this. So if you look down a little bit further, you'll see institutional tracking. They track Berkshire Hathaway, Soros Capital Management, and ARK investment management. Warren Buffett drives most of the investment inside Berkshire Hathaway. So let's take a look at that. Kind of look at the top buys. They recently purchased Citigroup, which is only 0.7% of their portfolio. So all of this relatively a small movement compared to their entire portfolio. But the interesting thing is to see what they're actually holding. You go down a little bit further and you see the holdings list. There's the price, the percentage change in price, holdings, market value, $155 billion of Apple that they're holding. 5.5% of all of Apple that they're holding. The most interesting criteria is the percentage of portfolio. Look at this. They're holding an enormous 41.69% of Apple. You might as well call them Apple Pathway or something instead. A long time ago, Warren Buffett was quoted saying that he doesn't invest in Apple because he doesn't understand it, because it's in the tech sector. But now look at it, they invest so heavily in it now. The only thing I wish they have as a metric inside all of this would be their cash holdings. This is something that is not shown here, which in Q4 of 2021, they hold $146 billion. Now, how much cash they hold is very important to kind of gauge what they're thinking. Is the market expensive? Is the market cheap? When they're holding close to 30% in cash, it means they think the market is kind of expensive, so they can't really deploy all that much money. In Q1 2022, they reduce their cash holding from 146 billion to 106 billion. They just spent $40 billion on whatever, on all that stuff that they said they bought over here. If you look at top buys, they have been buying Citigroup, Paramount, and then you go back, you have Soros Capital, which I don't look at too much, and then you have ARK Investment Management. You click in there, and then you can click on ARKK. You go down a little, and then you can see how much they're holding, 9.3% of their holdings is in Zoom, 8.35 is in Tesla. ARK Invest is divided across a bunch of different ETFs. So it includes ARKK, ARKG, ARKW, etc. If you look at all of their holdings, they're holding 6.13% of Tesla. So that is their top holdings. Now let's go back to the stock screener. We create a new strategy. This is just basically trying to look for a stock within a certain criteria that you have in mind. If you look at all this different criteria, it's it's a lot of different things that you can look through. Regional, you want to look at US, Hong Kong, Canada, Australia, which sector, NASDAQ, 
New York Stock Exchange? Do you wanna look at all stocks or just within your stock list? What is the price that you wanna look at? Sometimes maybe you wanna look at, let's say, a stock that is over $1,000. Let's put that in there, over $1,000. I click on the black part of the screen to get out of that entry mode. Check results, 18 stocks are over $1,000. This is kind of good to know. Let's sort them by price first. And then you can see Berkshire Hathaway is right up there at $416,000, close to half a million dollars per share. Google is way up there. Chipotle, surprisingly, why is their stock so expensive? The important thing to know about stock price is that it doesn't really matter how much per share it is. It matters how much they earn per share. They can split their stock as much as they want to adjust their price close to $100. But usually it's more friendly to everyday investors if their stock price is a little bit lower because not everyone has $1,000 or more just to invest in one share and not every single investment platform allows you to buy fractional shares. Now, Tesla would have been on this list, but they're no longer here anymore. Now, let's go back to the price. And I say, I want it to be at least $1. So anything that jumped up 25% and is worth more than $1 per share, here they are. There's only eight of them today, and 25%, it's like some crazy, crazy amount of jumping. I don't know any of these. Regional Target Hospitality, this is not Target, the normal Target place that you go shop at. Now let's do something more interesting, which is looking at the technical aspect of a stock. I'm gonna clear out all these things, and I'm gonna look at price that is over $1. Click under the technical over here and let's look under RSI, which is the relative strength index. If you look at the formula on how to calculate relative strength index, it depends on the time frame that you're looking at. The relative strength is average gains divided by average loss. And then RSI is calculated by 100 minus 100 divided by one plus RS. So, you know, a complicated formula. We don't actually have to calculate all this all we need to know is that the relative strength ranges from zero to 100. And when it's at 50, there is no gain or loss. So the mid-level is when it's not doing anything. And when it's very, very strongly going up, it's over 50. So like if it's 70, 80, 90, then you know that, oh, there's a lot of strength a lot of momentum going higher. Under technical, you have a lot of other technical indicators, MA, EMA, KDJ, RSI, MACD, all this other stuff. But we're gonna look at RSI, Relative Strength Index, and we're gonna customize it. I'm gonna put in a Relative Strength Index of greater than 70, I'm gonna go done, check results. There's 25 of them. There's a lot of them that increased in price just today. When you filter them by RSL, you got to prepare to see some stocks that you're not familiar with. Now they do have other things that you can filter by such as earnings per share, diluted earnings per share, profitability, operating margin, operating profit. If you're interested in a company that makes a lot of profit, that's one way to do it. Let's say their profits is over 1 billion. It would be kind of like blue chip companies, right? And you can easily recognize which companies these are. Berkshire Hathaway, NVR, Alphabet, AutoZone, Booking Holdings, Broadcom, so on and so forth. I hope this video helps adds to the tools that you can use for your investing. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.